going on you guys it's your man james aka jp and as you can tell i'm not in the toy room right now i'm not even at my own house i needed to borrow this backyard to do this project because in my apartment i obviously have a balcony i don't have a backyard it's not enough space and they're also doing construction there so i couldn't even go onto my balcony if i wanted to now hopefully you guys can hear me uh i'm hoping i, I hear the ac unit next door uh, it's pretty loud so hopefully it's not too annoying uh, but today we're going to be taking a look at Salon Hair 40. Um, basically this is some like hair care product. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what it does. It's a uh, volume cream. So it's something to do with like dyeing your hair or whatever. But we're, we're not dyeing our hair today. We're actually going to be using this to restore some sneakers and a Sega Dreamcast. So I have my 2013 uh, Grape Fives right here. As you can see, the bottoms are extremely yellowed, uh, like they're pretty bad, they're almost brown how yellow they are. Uh, then I also got a pair of these 13s, I'm actually not sure this colorway here, but I'm restoring them from my friend. As you can see, the bottoms, uh, the little pods right here are pretty yellowed. Uh, so we got that, and then we also have this Sega Dreamcast. Uh, this is not the one that I recently picked up, this is the one that I had for a while. And this thing is completely yellowed. The bottom not as much, but the top definitely. Uh, and this will also work for Super Nintendos uh, if you have the Super Nintendo that's turned yellow over time. Uh, so it's pretty simple. What I'm gonna do first is um, go over what you need for this process. Obviously, you need the Salon Care 40, which you can find at any hair or beauty supply store. Uh, you also will need some paint brushes or if you don't have paint brushes you can put on just regular latex gloves and apply it with your hands um saran wrap and uh, i'm going to have an old toothbrush because i'm going to clean these really quick uh before i apply this long care 40 uh with just some soap and water and this toothbrush i'll scrub it down real quick uh and also make sure you're wearing like an old t-shirt or something because if this gets on your clothes it'll probably bleach it uh, and the process is very simple. You're just going to apply the Salon Care 40, uh, then put some saran wrap over it and let it sit out in the sun for about 30 minutes. Uh, you should start to see results. Obviously, uh, you can leave it longer if you need to. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by cleaning these off camera. You don't need to see that. I'm just going to scrub it down. And then we'll come back, I'll apply the Salon Care 40, we'll leave it out in the sun, and then we'll check up on it in probably about a half hour or so. All right, you guys, so we're back, and uh, that I AC unit is still on, and now the neighbors are outside by the pool talking on the phone, so hopefully this sounds all right. So I gave the shoes a, a quick clean just uh, on the areas I'm going to put the Salon Care 40 on. As you can see, the white uh, on the bottom of the fives looks a lot better. Uh, you don't really see a difference anywhere else because uh, we have to deoxidize that. That's basically what this process is, it's just deoxidizing the stuff. The 13s should be pretty simple. I think the fives, because it is the clear bottoms, it's going to take uh, a little um, a little longer to, to get clear. But luckily, the netting on the sides is still white, and so is the tongue, so we're good with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Salon Care 40 and the paintbrushes. All right, I think I'll only need uh, one paintbrush, so I just I got the biggest one so I can cover the most area. If we can get the camera to focus, which it's not. But you guys can kind of see, come on now. No, it's not gonna focus, not at all. Let's see, one last try. Okay, whatever. You guys get the picture, it's a, it's that size. And we got the Salon Care 40 right there. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And it doesn't have a seal or anything. Um, this isn't gonna fit in there. Let me grab something so I can pour some of the Salon Care 40 into. All right, so I just got this random little like Tupperware, mini Tupperware lid or whatever. So we got that. Uh, I'll start with the fives. I got the 13s out of the way for now. I'll do one, two at a time. And we'll just start by getting some of that in there. It should be more than enough, at least for the fives for now. So we'll do that. Cool, and then I'll just come alongside here and start the process. I'm gonna 
want to make sure to evenly layer it because if you put too much on one section it's obviously going Welcome to work to more in that back, section back, than it back, would back, in a section back. that you only put a light amount on and you don't have to worry about getting it on the paint it's not going to affect like this white section here or that black section it shouldn't affect anything off of it. Good too, it's left to clean up and it is also. Alright, so that is pretty much it. So now I'm just going to get some saran wrap. Put it on here and leave it out in the sun. So let me grab that. All right, so that is it. Now we're just gonna go leave it out. I'm gonna put it in the backyard right here in the sun. Uh, then I'm gonna do the other five. I'm gonna do that. I'll show me applying some of the salon care onto the 13s in the Dreamcast, and then I'll catch up with you guys in the All room. right, so we got the fives sitting out in the sun. I did both pairs. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on these 13s, which will be a lot simpler and it's less area to cover. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on that. And one thing about this, whatever this is, it smells really good. It's got like this fruity smell to it, but obviously don't eat it, kids, because I know you guys love your Tide Pods, so no matter how good it looks or smells, it's not edible. Tide Pods or Salon Care 40. Alright, that's it for this shoe. Obviously, we're just going to start with this one side. And then once this side's done, we'll flip it around and do the other side. So that's it for the 13s. We're going to do the other shoe, throw it in the sun, and then we'll move on to the Dreamcast. All right, now finally, the Dreamcast. Uh, now, since this one isn't working, I'm not concerned about covering up the ports. But if you are doing this, you're going to want to cover up the ports. Or you can even just uh, take the screws out, take it apart, and do it that way. Uh, but like I said, this one's not working, so I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes, so I don't really care if it gets in the ports or not. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, just applying that on there like so. And obviously the more yellow that it is, uh, whether it's the shoes or uh, the Dreamcast or uh, Super Nintendo, the more you're going to need to apply. You don't want to overdo it, so just nice even layers. Alright, that's it for the Dreamcast. Now I just gotta wrap it up in some ceram wrap and bring it outside with the rest of the shoes. All right, so here are the shoes and the Dreamcast out in the sun. This is right immediately when I put the Dreamcast in the sun. So just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And uh, I guess we'll come back in about, I'll say about 30 minutes and we'll see if we see any results. Right, guys, so here we are 30 minutes later. Um, and wow, you can actually, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this is pretty much on the 13s pretty much white the fives haven't really changed much from what i can tell but uh, like i said earlier they were fairly yellow so that's gonna probably take a little bit more time and the dreamcast actually uh from what i can tell looks pretty white as well uh so i think i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the fives here uh i'm gonna leave the dreamcast here i'm gonna take the 13s and work on the other side now so that's pretty much it sparky say hello 
All right, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the fives out here. I'm gonna flip the thirteens over, and I think the Dreamcast uh, I'll leave here for a little longer just to make sure. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna show really any more updates. So I'm just gonna show the final product. Uh, once everything is complete, so I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys, so we are back. Uh, this is probably about two, two and a half hours since we first started this video. Uh, a lot of this uh, video was really just waiting around, you know, leaving them in the sun for, you know, 30 minutes at a time. Eventually it started raining, but now that I'm filming the end of this, now the sun's coming back out, so I could probably leave these in the sun for a little bit longer, but uh, it's my day off, so I kind of want to do other things other than this. Uh, but I'll start with the Dreamcast. Um, came out pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, was pretty yellow before. I'll have some before and after pictures and videos uh, on the screen for you guys. But I think the Dreamcast came out pretty good. Uh, it only needed about 30 minutes uh, in the sun to come out pretty decent, so uh, the Dreamcast were good. I can't speak for a Super Nintendo because I don't have one uh, and I don't have a yellow one uh, at that. Uh, the 13s came out really, really good. Uh, those also needed about 30 minutes um, on each side and they're pretty white after 30 minutes. Uh, you know, I could leave them in there just a tad bit longer. Like I said, it started raining, so now everything's all wet. Uh, but they look really, really good. All the yellowing is pretty much gone. Now the only stuff that's left is really just dirt on there that I tried to clean up, but most of it's just kind of on there. Uh, I'm sure some kind of prep protect or rejuvenator could take that out, no problem. Uh, those look really good. The fives, on the other hand, they... I don't know, they didn't come out too great, but like I said, they were extremely, extremely yellow. Uh, so I do feel like it did start to work, uh, but it definitely needed to sit in the sun for a lot longer, probably all day to be honest, for like a good six hours. That should clear it up. Uh, so I am going to work on these another day. I'm gonna put these to the side uh, and continue to work on these. And I'll do an updated video on how they come out. Uh, but I do feel like it started to work, at least up here in this area doesn't look as yellow. Uh, back here on the heel does uh, look still pretty yellow, but I do feel like it started to work. Uh, so again, I'll, I'll have an updated video on that. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a feeling it was, it's probably a long video. It's probably around 15 minutes. So if you guys are still here by now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more. Again, stay tuned for the update on the fives. And sorry for all the background noise out here. Now there's a plane coming out. So as always, I'll see you guys next time.